Hi, Eric here with 30 by 40 Design Workshop. Today I want to quickly review a project that we're working on right now, currently designing a barn studio for a client of ours. And it's kind of an interesting little study in um, a, a folly of an outbuilding. And I thought I would review how the process works. Uh, the client came to us wanting a fairly simple barn uh, shape. And so of course we begin by studying barns um, and, and these are particular interests of ours. So we're well suited to this. We had a design on our website called The Long Studio, which they, they particularly liked, um, and they wanted to do a version of that, keeping the architecture very simple, simple, uh, you know, barns are very simple shapes, uh, but they wanted it, and they wanted it to be deferential to the existing architecture on the site. Um, and this was to host a uh, studio function, guest swing space, so sleeping space, um, and sort of general studio and, and uh, work play functions. Um, they could host gatherings out here and really open this up to their um, courtyard um, to host gatherings. Um, so what we did was we started with a fairly long and skinny proportion and we start sketching sort of basic ideas, some layout ideas. Um, from these sketches we start developing floor plans pretty quickly. Once we know what the, the sort of general shape of the building is, we, ha we have an idea it's going to be a sort of long extruded form, it's going to be thin, it's got relatively small amount of program element in it. Um, and, and the first thing we do is we start laying out the floor plan. We start thinking about well what makes sense with this? And with a barn, what you a, a typical barn configuration is uh, fairly solid ends, it's got an opening in the middle. Um, where they would drive their sort of wagons in historically, unload the hay into their into the sort of hayloft pieces. So we start with this basic form, and we look to take the program elements, which in this case is the studio, mechanical space because we have a heating plant. It's going to be a heated building. Uh, of course, we have hot domestic hot water needs for the bathroom. Uh, we have a storage function. We need a kitchenette in here and some other storage to support the studio, the work in the studio, and then we have a bath space. We take these functions and we really try and make a diagram of a plan and say, okay, well, what makes sense? What, uh, where does it make sense to place these elements? And to create this barn form, it seems to make sense to create a regularized column grid pattern here, open space in the center, fairly solid space on the ends. And then what we realize is when we have a 12 foot wide dimension, you know, 12 foot wide is a pretty, you know, narrow room for it to feel like an open studio space, even though it's long, um, we start to realize pretty quickly that 12 feet might be a little bit too narrow. So we start taking some of the program functions that support the studio space and we kind of create this little bump out piece here. So you can see, even at a very early stage, we have a basic diagrammatic ordering principle for the plan. Now from this plan, we said, okay, well, I think we can do better than this. Um, the bath function seems to work okay. There's a pool nearby that we want to service uh, people coming in from the pool to use the bathroom. So that's got an indoor-outdoor relationship. The bathroom also needs to support a bedroom space in here. Mechanical needs to support the bathroom. So does it make sense to group those together? Mechanical also needs to support the kitchenette. So we started looking at some different plan options here. Now, what we came up with for the second scheme was to start looking at weighting the building to one side. Now you can see we've got the same basic program elements here, mechanical space, the bath space, that gets oriented along here. We create a solid, more solid element here, and the center bays become open so that you can really open them up to the light and the views and really feel like you can open this space to be a multifunctional space hosting parties, gatherings. We've located a small bioethanol fireplace here, which is a great way of having a fireplace without having to do a flu. We've elongated a kitchenette along this wall, makes it pretty multifunctional. There's probably a way to close this off with doors or sliding panels. Um, and again, segregated the mechanical room away from everything. It's nice, we, we still maintain an order here. Mechanical is now supporting the bathroom pretty, pretty well. It may take a little bit longer to get some hot water over here, but that's a sort of trade-off. Having a separate man door entrance here is kind of nice. It allows us access from the pool to the bath. It's also easier to open this man door than it is to open, you know, an eight foot sliding door along, along this face. Now a variant of that plan was to basically switch the mechanical in the bathroom here. So you can see on this end, we've made the mechanical into a linear storage room here, a smaller kitchenette, and created more of a gathering space on this end. Basics, same basic plan form that we're working with. 
Now, as we morph into this next layout, this one looks to take advantage of some views and sun on the site. And instead of orienting the main open studio space in the center of the plan, we've put it off to this corner. So as the sun moves around, really this is a nice space throughout the day. It gathers more light. It also weights it toward views out to this side and the sort of more wooded part of the site. Now, organizationally, we've taken this long bar on this end and made storage, kitchenette, storage, 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 and then separated the bath out here. The bath is kind of nice in this configuration because it allows the bath to get used separately. There's a pocket door here, as well as this sink, which could support the studio function. It's outside of the bathroom, so it sort of supports a double use here. And again, we've tucked the mechanical room in here, creates some privacy for the bath. It's a sort of transition zone, so we kind of like how that lays out. Now, the next layout that we're going to look at here this is the same basic configuration, but in the previous scheme, this was all full height cabinetry on this side. We've decided to make it counter height cabinetry, which basically takes a 11 foot wide space and makes it 13 feet wide. Makes it the perception of this studio space feel a lot larger. And then this counter space becomes the sort of multifunctional storage. We've got the, our EcoSmart bioethanol fireplace there. It's pretty flexible. And the final configuration, what we've done is really tried to push the barn aesthetic. We've gone with a really open plan layout here in the center of the space, and we've really tried to push all of our function into cabinetry pieces. So here in this cabinet piece sits a Murphy bed for their guest function, so that can fold down out of this. Sliding panels can open to reveal a kitchenette behind here. Multifunctional storage, this could be for books or supplies. And then we've started to develop this language of sort of work tables that are more mobile. They can be pushed around and create different spaces within this that can be rolled outside as a drink cart. Uh, but really this plan form of the barn becomes much larger in this configuration. And we've located the bath and mechanical room on a single end. We've removed the corridor that we used to have here and replaced it with a door here. So outside access is simple and direct from the outside and we take away that corridor space and dedicate it to the studio. So that's basically how we arrived at that. The next step in the whole process was to take it and start constructing our model. Um, and we've done that. And as we move forward with that, um, you know, I'll, I'll be talking about that in the future. We're developing this corner idea, sliding screens, and ways to sort of emphasize the idea that this is a barn. We're going to be working with the different materials on the exterior, looking at colors, um, and you know ways to partition this off maybe make it made out of hardy plank or hardy panel so we get a larger uh, more contemporary streamlined feel but that's generally how we arrived at this design and i just wanted to share that with you thanks for watching